All right, uh, last story for the day, guys, and this is, uh, I don't know if this is a, this is just more like a, a shocking, I find this quite shocking in this world of PR when we're supposed to be on top of things and know how to do things. All Blacks criticised over tone-deaf tweet to mark International Women's Day. Now, that, I believe, was yesterday. The All Blacks have come under fire after choosing to mark International Women's Day with a tone-deaf tweet that failed to acknowledge the world champion Black Ferns regulated women to a supporting role and featured a partner who assaulted, sorry, a player who assaulted his partner. It was accompanied by pictures of halfback Aaron Smith and his wife Tegan, whom he infamously cheated on in a disabled toilet, and Fijian-born flyer Sevu Reese, who pled guilty to assaulting his female partner in 2018. So there's, it's still up, by the way, guys. This tweet is still up. To uh, do International Women's Day, so there's Sevi Reese who, who uh, admitted to, you know, hitting his partner. There's Aaron Smith, and of course, International Women's Day. What's the best thing about International Women's Day in rugby is that our women's team are the best in the world. Nothing. Silence. I mean, that's. I mean, you said shocking. Is it shocking these days? I, I'm resigned to this sort of stuff. Um, like Fonterra did the the women the women leaders conference recently and everybody's talking that it was, was a man. It, it's <laughs> like a, a lot of these guys just need to get out of their own way. I mean, the wording of the tweet was fine. You could, you could have all of those women that, that are in the roles. Let's get some pictures of some partners. Let's get some pictures of the, the um, sports doctors and um, all of our support staff that are women. Awesome. But you had to put a picture of, the actual All Blacks in because it's the All Blacks tweet. And as you mentioned, world landing women's rugby team that doesn't get enough love as it is. Nowhere. Just yeah, don't put I mean, it in. The tweet says, talks about women to, to celebrate. I'll bring my I'll bring the tweet back up. This is this is how it references women to celebrate. Partners, mothers, daughters, doctors, physios, referees, administrators, and fans. What about the fucking players? <laughs> you know it's the all blacks this is a rugby team what about our, our world champions could be in there as well as we celebrate women it's just i mean when i say surprising chewy i don't even mean surprising in society because you know there's morons out there i just mean someone has gone in the pr department press department marketing department of the all blacks has gone oh, right let's celebrate women how should we do that we'll it's about half them. right it's well, about half right, but the, the, there's an, there's another thing that they could have done there. All right, we're gonna we, we're gonna put some pictures of some All Blacks in there because it's the All Blacks official um, Twitter account. Awesome. Do any of these people that we're putting up there have any issues uh, uh, around women? Oh yeah, well the the public to uh, the disabled toilet thing and um, the whole the whole beating your partner thing. Okay, <laughs> have we got any other players? that we can put up there that haven't done those things. One or two. I'm you, sure they're one just, or two. You just want to run them through a filter. Of just a, what, what's their history? Don't put it up yet. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, uh, tone deaf is the right word. George, got anything to add, my friend? No, it, it seems like these international whatever days are usually just for brands and companies to sort of, I don't want to use the phrase because it's a bit cringy, but virtual sig signal. Yeah. Um, it's basically, yeah, it seems like a corporate exercise and they can't even get that right. <laughs> yeah. the, the day's there open for them to advertise their brand and they can't even get that right. I, I can't even believe, you know, so often we, people make mistakes, right? And look, I've just brought up their actual, their actual All Blacks Twitter feed, right? Uh, at the stream, boys. Um, and it's still there. Like, actually, this would be an appropriate time to go in an appropriate way. Whoop, oh, guys, we fucked up. Acknowledge we fucked up. Obviously, it's like you know when people think, like like Julia, is it Julia Roberts who played Aaron Brockovich? It is, isn't it? I think mm. so. Forgot to thank Aaron Brockovich at the Oscars. <laughs> like won the Oscar and forgot to thank Aaron Brockovich. So what did Julia Roberts do? Profusely apologized for the next six months. Every single time she had a chance to thank Aaron Brockovich. Like the the person who was she was acting from the movie, like all blacks get a grip, have a lesson. Mm. You actually now take it down, apologize, 
and redo it. A redo is actually not a bad thing if you have completely fucked up. Yeah, but it, at least um, Fonterra, you know, sort of did that. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's not good that they that they had all, you know, it'd be like having a, a, a an issue of Māori leaders and having all Pākehā. You would never see that happen. So why is it so, why is it so easy to set up a conference for women leadership with all men when I don't think any company would ever have a, a, a Māori leadership, you know, conference, which is completely appropriate full of only Pākehā speakers. It wouldn't happen. Mm. So why are, why are women deemed not as important to make sure they get that right than other areas of, of the place, which they definitely would? It, it shouldn't be hard. And, and I think it, it links back to um, what our first guest uh, said, Spanners. He, he said a phrase that I really like, if you can see it, you can be it super important that people see you know like if you're a young girl that likes rugby and you see on the all blacks twitter feed something about the world champion new zealand women's rugby team that's that's important it's yeah there's virtue signal the signaling absolutely and then there's something that goes a bit deeper than that well if you're going to get involved in it if you're going to put out a tweet get it fucking right Mm. I mean, I, I mean, that's the thing. Like, if it's virtue signaling or not, if you're going to do it, get it right. They should have had a standalone tweet for the world champion women's rugby team on International Women's Day. There should have been a solo standalone tweet for that. Um, and then perhaps if they want a virtue signal with, you know, they, they make our sandwiches out the back and they rub our backs when they're hard. They can, well, when they're hard, that's the wrong thing to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, when they, score, they can do that as well but you know what i mean if you're gonna do it get it right and if you don't get it right apologize there you go hey, rules for life you, you, you know what they could have done they what? could have done more than one tweet yeah there you go Cover up all the bases <laughs>